Happy New Year, everybody! I told you guys I was gonna do a 14 day challenge, so here I am with day number one. So one of my, I have a couple of words and phrases of the year this year. I really like doing words of the year rather than resolutions. I don't know, it just seems like it's easier to meet those for whatever reason. But my word of the year this year is consistency. Yes, as you guys know, especially here on YouTube, I lack consistency. And one thing I've always struggled with as an entrepreneur is focus, lacking focus. And I'm, I've never been a person that really tends to set goals. I just get up in the morning and start working. But I started to notice over time that I'd be going down rabbit holes and I wasn't getting certain things accomplished. And you know, entrepreneurship gets glamorized. Oh, you get to sleep late, you get to work in your pajamas. But you know what, sometimes that can go to the extreme. And one thing that I have learned is that we all need structure. It doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur, it doesn't matter if you work outside the home, you need structure. Even something simple as making your bed every day. I used to roll my eyes at people who said, oh, you gotta make your bed every day. You're gonna have a better day. Successful people always make their beds. And I was like, what are you talking about? But I get it. I get it. It's something about starting the day, completing a task, and then you can kind of stand back and go, dang, my bedroom looks kind of good. So it's that sense of accomplishment that you get early in the morning and it just sets the precedent for that day. It sets your energy for, that, for the day. It really, really does work. I just started 2019, you guys, with a different energy. And I don't know if it has something to do with, at the end of last year, I changed how I eat. I was on that whole entrepreneur diet where I ate too much sugar, too much carbs, and it was starting to show up in my lab reports. I discovered I was borderline diabetic and we don't even have diabetes in my family. And so I started eating clean last year and cutting out sugar and my energy levels are just through the roof. My mood is through the roof. And I just came into 2019 like, what? I am so ready. I downloaded the Wonderlist app and I've been making goals and setting goals and meeting those goals every day, even if they're just tiny little goals. So the whole point of this challenge is to just practice at setting goals and meeting goals. Hopefully you guys get a lot out of this challenge too, because I've already planned the videos out. I think you guys are gonna learn a lot, but honestly, this is just as much for me as it is for you guys. But I've got a content list already planned out, which is another thing that I think will help me in the future. I used to hear people say, oh, I've gotta do my schedule for the month or whatever. And I was like, that's just so extra. But I get it. I don't have to make the excuse of, well, I don't really know what I wanna talk about for 14 days. I've already got it planned out. And I've learned already that that's gonna keep me more consistent by having a schedule so I don't have to sit there and think. Because what will happen is I'll think, oh gosh, it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. Let me do a video. And then I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do the video on. And then I just forget about it. Pretty soon it's a month later. And so again, you guys, consistency, setting goals, that's just something that I've never been great with, but I am turning over a new leaf in 2019. And you guys should join me. You know, even if you don't do videos, set another goal. Maybe if you're in Merch by Amazon, set a goal to watch a Photoshop video every single day and learn something new. I was reading an article, um, somebody tweeted it, I can't remember who it was, but it basically said the best way to start your year with great momentum is to do a 14 day challenge. And I was like, hey, I'm already going to do that. So I'm already starting off on the right foot. But I can see how that will help because you get practice at doing something every day and meeting a goal and checking that off your list. So after the 14 days is up, I'll come on here and do a video and, and share what I've learned from this. And I'm not going to be doing the videos in advance. Every day, I'm going to record and edit the video. That's the whole point of this, doing something consistently every day. Because if I do it in advance, that kind of defeats the purpose. It kind of cheats a little bit. No, I'm going to be doing a video every single day. And at first, I was going to do for 30 days. But I was like, mm, I can barely get out a video every other month. So now you're going to make yourself do 30 days in a row and see that's the thing about a challenge and that's the thing about setting goals i think sometimes we set goals that are just too 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 big and we get discouraged we feel overwhelmed so i cut that in half and i'm like okay i think i can do two weeks that seems like something doable and then maybe after that i'll try 30 days but i want to start small small enough so i can meet the challenge but big enough so it's still challenging so i will see you guys tomorrow on day two of my 14 day challenge. See you later. Peace.